1.19 is not the traditional Minecraft update. The wild update is basically a combination of features announced for 1.17 that weren't able to make it into the update for multiple reasons, and some new interesting features, mobs, and biomes that I am personally very excited to test out for the first time today. In this video, I will be going over every feature added in this update and give my honest thoughts about them. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we start off with blocks, and these are the frog lights, and I think the frog lights are maybe my new favorite block, at least in the 1.19 update. So the criteria to obtain these frog lights is very, very strange. So basically what you have to do, what you have to do is you have to have a small magma cube and a frog. And the frog basically has to try to devour the magma cube. So we have these smaller magma cubes here. And as you can see, the frog will eat the magma cubes. And basically what happens when the frog eats the magma cubes is you get these lights so it really depends on the color of the frog um that you get one of these frog lights so for the yellow it's those orange guys for the green it's the green frogs and for the purple it's the white frogs so that's pretty interesting these new lights have a light level of 15 so just about to right here which is a pretty big light level so next thing we have are these frog spawns now these are tadpoles and the way you get tadpoles is with frog spawn. So if you place frog spawn on the top of the water, eventually these will turn into tadpoles. Now, these are created when frogs breed, um, and they're literally just like eggs. They're just like turtle eggs. Um, eventually they hatch and turn into tadpoles. So they can only be laid on water and they cannot be obtained in survival mode, even with silk touch. So that's pretty interesting. They're pretty hard to find. So next up, we have mangrove leaves. And I really, really like these leaves. They look super... They look super kind of like droopy, like kind of weeping willow. I like the weeping willow vibes um, for these leaves. Because if you're making a custom tree and you kind of want to make it look droopy, these are really nice leaves for that purpose. Um, with the mangrove tree also comes mangrove wood. So we have the mangrove log. We have the mangrove planks, we have the mangrove roots, we have the mangrove wood, and I honestly think that the mangrove wood is a terrific alternative to crimson wood. This is kind of what I imagined when I thought that we were getting crimson wood. This is what I wanted, this is what we got. So I think this is definitely a much better representation of crimson wood than this. Um... So this is definitely a better alternative to crimson in my opinion. So next up here we have mud. So mud can be basically found in the swamp biome along with these trees. Now mud is created, um, you can create it yourself by basically taking dirt and a water bottle and a dispenser, powering the dispenser, and then the water goes into the mud. This is a very interesting feature. Um, that's how you create mud, but the way you get rid of mud, if you have any solid block, then dripstone, and then mud, eventually the water will drain from the dripstone, and it will turn into clay. So I just did that because I didn't want to wait for it, because I think it takes a while. But it does eventually turn into clay, so it goes from dirt to mud to clay, which I think is a really interesting feature. So as well as mud, we have mud bricks, we have packed mud, and we have muddy roots, which um, spawn commonly in the jungle. Or, I mean, in the swamp. Into the minecart we go. Woo. Wee. I don't know what to do to fill in this time. Wee. Yay. Here we are in the deep dark biome. And the first block we have here is reinforced deep slate. So, reinforced deep slate is the uh, is only found in the deep dark biome, um, and it was basically added because of this little frame thingy right here. So we don't know what this is at the moment, it could be a portal or anything, but this is for later. But this is where the deep slate features, and I really, really like the block. I think it blends in well with the other blocks, like I think it doesn't just cut off like these kind of do. I feel like it blends well with the block next to it, so it looks like one whole object, not just a bunch of blocks. Those blocks are always nice to me, the, the the seamless blocks. So other things we have are skulk. So this is skulk, and this is basically like an XP farm. So if I go into survival mode and I break some of the skulk, it actually gives me experience, as you can see in the hotbar. Um, so after a little bit of skulk, you will get experience. And this is pretty interesting um, because of this block right here, which is the catalyst. Basically, what the catalyst does 
is if there is a mob nearby, say a creeper, and you kill it, um, you the player kill it, it will basically use any nearby block and it will turn it into skulk. So let me try it again because it didn't, it wasn't really visibly able to be seen. But as you can see, the skulk catalyst sensed that something died and you could see that that skulk reappeared there. So it only works with, um, creatures with experience, so like a villager wouldn't work on it. But anything with experience, any mob with experience, will make skulk. And I guess that makes sense because skulk does drop experience. So that's a pretty interesting block. This is basically like the creator of them all and the way you get all of the skulk blocks. This is the skulk shrieker and it generates also down here in the deep dark biome. And I really love the design um, of the spinning souls in there. It looks really cool. It looks kind of like a uh, ender pearl. So basically, when a uh, skulk sensor activates it, or you step on it, what you will see is that this cool new particle will come out of it. It kind of looks like those smoke rings that you see. I really, really like this new particle, and it also shrieks. It's really scary. So, it can also be, like, activated by stepping on it, skulk sensor, or redstone. Any of those three. And when it is activated, at least in survival mode, I, I, I think, it gives you... The darkness effect. I don't- I don't know. It's not giving me the darkness effect. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, but... When it- it says when activated, it gives it darkness effect. You just have to- you just have to be honest with me. But if I give myself the effect, you can see everything around me goes dark. And I actually have night vision on right now, so you can like- it's not that dark. So there's also the skulk veins. I think they look really cool. They also have the animated texture, just like the skulk blocks. So, for the next little bit, we are going to be heading up to the surface. To look at some items. Yay! So our first item is the bucket of tadpoles. So basically, if you have a bucket of tadpoles, you can spawn these tadpoles. I really like these tadpoles. They're so nice. And they're so sweet. And they're so kind. And what the hell? What the frog just freaking jumped it? What are you doing? Um, so there's also... Oh, crap. Uh, where'd all the items go? Frick. Um, please stand by for, for a moment. So we also have these echo shards here. And if you basically do this... Or I mean, not echo shards. Disc fragments. I'm stupid. If you put all of these disc magnets, uh, kind of nine of them in this area, you will get a music disc by Sam Samuel Oberg, or Auberg, or something, whatever that says, I'm not sure. I'm sorry to pronounce, mispronounce your name, but, um, so yeah, this, it's a great song, terrific song, it's not terrifying at all, probably, is it, is it good? It's, like, deep dark thing themed, it's probably scary. Yep, it's terrifying. <laughs> Okay, it's a good, it's a great song. In 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 conclusion, it's it's really great. Um, very musical, and I love it. So those are pretty cool. Um, next we also have the Echo Shard. So this is for people who might not be as good at Minecraft and they die a lot. So basically, I can't remember what the crafting recipe is. I think it's like maybe you go all the way around a compass with them. Yeah, that's it. So this is a recovered compass. So basically, if I were to kill myself, I am dead. Basically. This compass will point to wherever I died, so that I can go figure out where I died. So I'm just gonna go in this direction, it's telling me to go completely just this way. Um, I don't actually know where I- oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna be a while. I think I screwed myself. This is gonna- this is gonna take a while. Oh goodness me. I've been doing this for seven minutes now, I feel like there has to be a more effective way to get there, but I don't care. Hey, here we are. Hey, I told you it works. I told you it works. I, it works. I got it got me to the thing. I didn't need any teleportation. Uh, it got me all the way back here. That was a, definitely a great test of the compass. But yeah, basically, if you die a lot, then that's what happens. So this is the goat horn, and this horn is really interesting. So there's different variants of the horn. This is not my favorite one, but there are different variants of the goat horn. So. There's like, there's ponder, sing, seek, feel, admire, call, yearn, dream. Uh, they're all really interesting. I'm gonna play feel. What does this sound like? I think it's like low, right? Yeah. So they sound pretty interesting. I like the, go the goat horns. I mean, my friends keep freaking annoying me with them, but it's it's not annoying at all. No, no, not at all. We also have some new spawn eggs. The warden spawn egg, the typo spawn egg, the frog spawn egg, and the alley spawn egg. And I will show you the alley. In just a moment, let's go back down over here. This is the alley. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but
But I feel like if you like drop a block or something, it'll pick it up. Maybe. Hello, friend. Pick up the block, right? Alley. Oh my gosh, they look cool. I mean, I don't know what the frick they do, but I mean, they're pretty cool looking. So here, take this. Take them. Take them. Take the blocks. Take the blocks, you little scumbags. Where I'm holding cute there. Take the blocks. I don't, I don't know what they're supposed to do. I feel like they're supposed to, like, sort items and stuff, but I don't know. I, I'm still confused about them, but they look cool, so that's all I care about. So we're also going to look at the frogs. So there are different types of frogs. For some reason, I think I think it depends on what biome they spawn in, but there are also green frogs and white frogs. Um, and maybe even more? No, I think there's only three. But the frogs are born from these tadpoles, which are right here, um, that I showed you earlier. And what the hell did you just do? I think the frog- I think the tadpoles are really interesting. They look cool. And they look just like tadpoles in real life. So, for the next mob, let's head back down to the deep dark. And it looks like some tadpoles are coming with me. Hey little buddy, are you coming down to the deep dark with me? Are we gonna have so much fun down there? I don't think you're gonna have fun down there. I think you're gonna probably burn to death on the magma, but... So, we are going to be looking at the warden. So, I'm not gonna get in the boat this time. And here's the warden spawn egg. So, as you can see... Warden, very cool. Um, I'm about to, I'm about to summon him, and I'm about to get rid of my effect. There are now t oh, sees there are now terrifying mobs called wardens. He is deaf. Or, I mean, he is blind, but he is not deaf at all. So if I go into survival mode, if I sneak, he cannot hear me. However, if I run, he can hear me, and he can murder me instantly. Um, and war in my freaking face. So, yep, that's- he's pretty terrifying. You have to sneak around, or else you will die. But, the cool thing about sneaking now is that there is a new, brand new enchantment for sneaking. And, these enchantments allow you to sneak faster. So these are called Swift Sneak, and if you enchant these leggings with sniff, sniff, swish, swish, Swift Sneak, you can apply them. And normally, when you walk, you'll be this fast. When you sneak and walk, right? You'll be about this fast. Very, very slow. Extremely slow. But then if we equip these, as you can see, we go slightly faster. So I've always used the trick where, instead of like having to use these, I just always use the trick where you start, you start sprinting before you crouch so that you can go slightly faster. Because as you can see, that's slightly faster than walk crouching. Um, yeah. But now we have Swift Sneak at our assistance at any time to help us go faster. So, oopsies, I keep putting it backwards. So this is Swift Sneak 2. So this one also goes slightly faster. Um, slightly faster than Swift Sneak 1. I keep- I cannot pronounce Swift Sneak, it's too hard. So as you can see, we're going fast. We're going at like the slow walking speed. And then if we finally enchant this one with Swift Sneak... Three, when you sneak, you are basically at walking speed. So, like, the only way you can tell that I'm not wa at walking speed right now is because I'm, I'm, I'm lower than I'm supposed to be. But something you can do to completely maximize this effect is if you begin sprinting, then crouch with sw swift sneak on, you can almost be as fast as sprinting um, in this mode. So that is really nice. That's going to help out a lot with um, like magma and also sneaking around with the warden. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty interesting and very nice. Love that. So next up, we have the ancient city. This is a brand new structure. So the ancient city is pretty mysterious right now, but we do know that this is where wardens come from. So this could be like the warden's village. So, it generates within the deep dark. It's also the brand new, biggest ever um, Minecraft structure. It's always generated at Y-52, made of deep slate, um, made of, uh, contains soul sand, soul fire, all that stupid stuff. Um, and some of the valuable stuff here include the brand new, very exciting other side disc, which uh, uh, I thought I was going to be lucky enough to find it. But apparently they really like diamond hose here, so that's cool. Um, depth strider, yeah, that's pretty nice. I, we have an enchanted diamond toe now, so that's cool. But if you are lucky enough, you will find 
the other side music disc. Maybe, maybe in here? Nope, I just have to get it. Okay. I wanted it to be exciting, but apparently not. So this music disc is really good. I, I like this music disc. I honestly like it. Also, sorry if you can hear the stupid sawing outside. There's like people building a deck next door. I don't know. But Lena Rain's good. Love this disc. If you can shut up, you stupid warden. Stop coming out of the ground, you terrifying creature. Great music disc. Love it very much. And it looks like the it looks like the warden came out to listen to the music as well. So yep, the music's great. I know, right, warden? You can you can hear it very well because you're freaking blind. What we also have is we have the mangrove swamp. So if I tell, tell, teleport myself to Wow, it's two thousand blocks away. Alrighty. So mangrove swamp. Oh crap, we're 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 really far underground right now. Um here we are in the mangrove swamp, and here is where a lot of frogs are. And a lot of this new mud stuff. So, as you see, this is where mud is naturally from. And this is also where the muddy roots are naturally from. I really like the muddy roots. I really do like them. They go really well with the mud. And this is just much, much better than a normal swamp. Like, I like this a lot more than swamps. Um, Minecraft has always said that they were going to do a swamp update because swamps suck so much. This is a lot better. It's kind of crowded. It's not normally this crowded, but it's probably pretty peaceful to just, like, ride a boat through it. Let's try it. And let's also ride a chest boat through it, because chest boats are cool. Also, new addition. I didn't really talk about it that much, but look at how peaceful this is. Just riding my boat through here. Oopsies, I got out of the boat. Just riding my boat through here. There's lily pads. Yeah, I really like the addition of this. I feel like they could kind of vary it up a little bit with the mod. I feel like they could maybe, like, kind of scatter clay around in here to just make it a little bit more more natural looking. Maybe the clay is a little bit farther from the water, so it's, like, all clay up here, and then down there it's mud. But no, I do really like this biome, and I really like the addition of the trees and the leaves and all of that stuff. So, next section is commands. Now, if you are a technical player, you will love this. I use commands all the time, even though I don't, like, I'm not a very technical player. It's also really laggy because I don't have Optifine. I'm very sorry. It's only at, like, 46 FPS right now. So the new commands are do warden spawning game rule. So you can do game rule, do warden spawning, um, false or true. Um, just basically to turn on or off warden spawning. Um, and it's defaulted to true. You can also do the new locate. So before it was just locate and locate biome. That's the only things you could locate. But now there are three things you can locate. You can locate a biome. You can look out. You can blah, blah. you can locate a POI. I'm not sure what that is. And you can locate a structure. What's a POI? Is it, oh, it's just a like entity. Okay, a uh, point of interest. I guess is what it stands for. So. Now you can locate a biome and you can locate a structure, which I find really, really, really helpful instead of just locate and locate um, biome. That did catch me off guard because I use this command all the time. So it was kind of weird when I couldn't just do locate biome and I had to like do a space, but that's fine. I will get used to it eventually. You can also do the new command place. So you can place a feature, you can place a structure, you can place a template, and you can place a jigsaw. This update also added some new advancements, uh, birthday songs, so have an alley deliver a cake at a note block. Oh, you have to use a note block, I forgot. So there's bucket bucket, which is basically ca catching a tadpole in a bucket. There's it spreads, which is killing a mob near a skulk catalyst. Sneak 100, which is sneaking near a skulk sensor or a warden to prevent it from te detecting you. There is when the squad hops into town, which is get each frog variant in a lead. With our powers combined, which is when you get all three of the frog lights, which I will show you right now. If I get all three of them, you get one of the cool purple, cool purple, purple ones. And then you've got a friend of me, which is have an alley deliver items to you. So I'm excited to see, I'm excited to figure out how alleys work. I'm not sure how they work right now. I'm sorry that I can't provide you with information, but I am very excited about this update. I love this update. Um, overall, it's really cool. I feel like there could be a few things that have that need to change. Um, but overall, I think it is a great update. And very happy 1.19 is out. 
I'm also happy that you are about to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. So press the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh crap, I just freaking fell off.